Hello and welcome to another Miniature Realms video and welcome to Bolt Action Project Vlog 4. I think it's been a it's been a few weeks actually since I did the last project vlog with um, Bolt Action. Um, as I've said on the previous videos, if you've caught them, it's very much a, um, a slow burn project. This one, it all sort of come in little sporadic moments I think or I'll uh, do a burst of stuff and then uh, maybe we'll slow down a little bit again it's uh, as I said before it was um, a project that wasn't supposed to be happening until next year but I just couldn't, couldn't resist um, painting some so as the whim takes me I'll uh, pick up a unit or a tank or something here and then but just a really short update this time really um, I've just had the last couple of bits arrive for the the army I'm building and I've actually painted a few things as well I say a few things I painted three men um, but we'll uh, we'll show you those in a moment so um, I worked out a thousand point list on easy army um, and uh, the final part of that came today it's quite weird I um I tagged this onto an order with with some pre-order stuff for um, for Epic ACW. So he was sort of sitting there until that pre-order stuff went was released. Um, I didn't need it because I haven't painted any of the units for the other stuff. But this kind of finishes off the army now. So um, so I have the carrier patrol set. Um, so I've got the two universal carriers which I'm, I'm using as transports, and um, and you get th you get twelve uh, um, plastic infantry. I think I'm uh, probably need to use six or seven of them or something like that. Not too many, but I will have a few spares, which is always good for my for my bits box. Um, so those arrived. I'm not going to do an unboxing here. I'm undecided whether I'll do unboxings for them or not. Anyway, I know unboxings aren't for everyone, but then then on the other hand, they can be really useful if you want to know what's inside a box. So we'll see how it goes. If I have time, I may be just quick unboxings for them anyway and reviews we will see but anyway so that arrived um, and then uh, there was a deal a couple of months ago where if you spent a certain amount of money you got free tanks or tank for cheap I can't even remember what the deal was now anyway but again I was ordering some epic um, ACW stuff and I needed some other little bits and bobs none of it I needed in a hurry but I thought well I'll pick up those bits now um, and I added the Matilda and this isn't in my kind of thousand point list that I was building to um, but it was something that was on my wish list for the future so this gives me a, a way of building a different kind of list but more importantly I got it because I want to paint the tank um, and this will be uh, the, you know, the, the bigger the bigger of the tanks that I have in my, my little army so really happy with that um, and again, whether I'll do an unboxing for that, I'm not sure. I might well save it until I, I, I've got time to build it and I'll do a bit of a review then, um, rather than just show the sprues. If it was brand new out, I may do an unboxing and just show the sprues because it's not. Um, I'd rather do a review when I when I build it and that might be the case with the, the Army stuff. Um, a couple of little stock, little sort of um, cart fitters, shall we call them. Um, so I added a couple of little things just to make some money up to, to, to um, 50 pounds to get those and uh, I got some oil, just one lot of oil barrels and, and I don't know what it was. Um, I just pictured them to be slightly larger. I didn't expect them to be kind of 40k-esque size and I should have probably known from the price. I think it was only about three pounds or something like that. But I don't know, I just pictured them maybe double the size or something. So they're pretty small. They weren't quite what I was expecting, but it was you know, a couple of quid. Um, and the same goes with the, the shell holes as well. Again, I wasn't expecting anything as big as those, those, those big 40k plastic ones that I think everyone's seen. Um, but they were... A, a lot smaller. I think these were five pounds, and in, in, you know, in hindsight, maybe I wouldn't have spent five pounds on on those. Again, I thought they'd probably be double the size. Um, and they don't even fit a little teaser for the painting model later on. They don't really even fit a bloke in the base. So a little bit smaller. Not a complaint. I probably should have read the description a little bit better, but they're a little bit small. But anyway more importantly and hopefully a lot more interesting i've started painting so what i'll do is now is i'll uh, i'll cut away and cut back with the camera focused in a little bit on some of the miniatures that i've just finished so here we are so i am um, strangely enough used sort of the, the more characterful models as my test paint really um i uh, I, I, I sort of mentioned before that I was going to be using the Scale 75 uh, Warfront um, paints um, and that's what I did for these in the end. Um, I think they work pretty well. I'm going to do a painting tutorial um, or how to paint uh, an infantry man in the way I've done these so I won't go over the colours and things too much here. I'll just show you the miniatures and we'll save that for the, for the, the painting video itself. Um, but this is my uh, spotter, so slight conversion. Um, I've already showed these unpainted in the previous vlog 
Um, so there's bits off, um, I think it was the British Airport. I can't even remember where I got the, the, the bits from now. I was correct when I mentioned it in the, the previous project vlog. Um, but I just took some bits off um, another sprue. I think it was the British sprue. It might be the British Airborne sprue or something like that. So I got the bandaged head and the binoculars from. Um, the rest is all 8th Army sprue. Um, quite a lot of fun with him. Um, I should probably spend a little bit longer on these than I will on the, the the troops. Maybe just one less highlight on the on the flesh. We'll see how it works out. Um, and maybe we'll just do them all the same. But I'm pretty pleased with the, the way that they've come out. Um, I looked at quite a few different uh, uh, references for the, for the painting. Um, I'll pop a few images up on the screen at the moment. Uh, I found a few different kind of different colours for the webbing was the hardest thing, so I wanted it to stand out slightly. And some images I've seen some colour plates it doesn't seem to at all. Um, in others it looks more of a green, but then maybe that would have been more Mediterranean or something. Some expert will hope help me in the in the comments, but uh, I went with uh, a colour that I think does a bit halfway really, sort of almost the same and blends in, but there is a slight change, but it's not a real sort of strong green tone to it. Um, the good, the strongest green is on the the top of the socks there. Um, but anyway, I had lots of fun with that one. So here's the medic. So again, this is all Eighth Army stuff. I talked in the previous uh, vlog about how I you know kit bash the, the various bits. Um, his medic's bag is just made out of a backpack with a um, handle, I believe, from a, a mortar shell, from memory, I think, and just a few extra packs and stuff put on it. Um, I have no idea what it would look like, but it'll, it does the job for me in game. Um, but other than that, I'm quite happy with the way he, come, well, the way he came out. I think the paint scheme I've chosen is going to be fairly easy to replicate fairly quickly as well. I think each of these miniatures I probably spent... Um, I don't know, about an hour and a half on in total for each one, maybe two hours. Uh, probably two hours actually, two hours for each one. But I'm quite happy with them. They're very characterful sculpts, really enjoyed them as well. It's something very, very different. I've never painted any um, any World War II before, or not infantry wise anyway, apart from the, the truck that I've done for this project. So lots of fun. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see what the whole army is going to look like when it's when it's done. And the last one is my lieutenant, and he's um, he's pretty standard out of the box, really. I don't think there's any anything major conversion-wise, um, apart from his um, left front leg. I uh, I repositioned the the pose of that so he can stand with his foot on the rock a bit more. Um, cut it off at the knee and then use one of the prone legs I think from memory again I talk about this when I can still remember it um, on the project vlog number three but uh, oh yeah again I'm quite pleased with the way he, way he came out and lots of character there I really like the uh, the palette that I found um, to use with this the paint and uh, like I said it's, uh, it's a fairly easy to replicate paint job so um, it's not something I'm dreading doing for all of the uh, sections, which is the last thing I want. There's not many men to paint in these armies, but last thing I want is it to feel like a real slog, which you can do sometimes. Um, I found a way of using a, a Zenithal Prime, but using browns to layer up um, with the airbrush. And then I've used, uh, I made some glazes and washes using contrast and then highlighted afterwards back by the same colors that are in the Sort of built up as in a zenithal style with the airbrush, but as I said before, I'll, um, I'm going to do a tutorial on on the scheme for this and what I'm doing with this. So I'll uh, save any more detail until I do that video, which hopefully won't be too long. But anyway, I hope you like him. I haven't got anything else to show you. That was it. But I really wanted to make a start on this project, and it's been sitting there for a while, and I've not gone off it. That's not why I've not produced any videos, just because I've been very busy working, um, painting things for other people, and also busy getting on with the American Civil War project, which is my 
probably my biggest and my main project at the moment in terms of historical gaming so if you are new to the channel do check out the other videos there will be um, lots more bolt action British H Army project stuff in the future um, and there is some black powder American Civil War stuff as well and a little bit of Middle Earth so do check it out and there'll be many many more periods joining soon so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and all of that stuff um, and I'll catch you soon